Now we will take up children of parallelogram. Actually, parallelogram there are two children which are important that we need to know. One is rhombus, one is rectangle. Now we are taking rhombus. Now what happens in rhombus? Rhombus is nothing but a parallelogram with a condition that all sides are equal. All right. So if uh, see the diagram is not very beautiful that I have drawn here. Right. You just assume that all the sides are equal. Okay. So if the sides are a a a a, right. Now the important properties related to rhombus. First is the area of a rhombus. Area of a rhombus is equal to. If you know the diagonal length, let's say one length is d1 and the other length is d2, then the area of rhombus is given by d1 into d2 divided by 2, right? So area of a rhombus is a very important formula that is half of product of diagonals. You have to memorize it directly, okay? Then there is one important property related to the diagonals. Diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Diagonals are perpendicular to each other. So angle between them, angle between the diagonals is 90 degree. Okay. So this angle is 90 degree. Now the third important thing, again the relation between the side and the diagonals. See in parallelogram we had two different sides A and B, right? And the relation was D1 square plus D2 square equal to 2 times A square plus B square. This is the relation that we just did for parallelograms. Now in case of parallelograms, as you can see B is also equal to A. So if you put A square here, it becomes 2A square into 2 that is finally 4A square. Alright? So the special formula for rhombus is diagonal squares sum or sum of squares of diagonals is equal to 4 times the side square. And remember all the sides are equal in case of a rhombus. So it is d1 square plus d2 square is equal to 4a square. Diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Area of a rhombus is equal to d1 into d2 by 2. Now here in this case, there is a direct formula for the height of rhombus. Suppose we take this side, the height will be this one. Now here because the sides are equal, so whichever side you take, the height length will be the same. So whether you take this one or this one, both the heights must be of the same value. So let's say this is the height h. There is a direct formula for this height h which is equal to d1 into d2 that is product of diagonals divided by 2 times the side. Right? Which can also be presented as d1 into d2 divided by square root of d1 square plus d2 square. Okay? So this is a direct formula for height of a rhombus. Alright? All this can be calculated from the formula of area. Nothing to worry, you can directly memorize these rules as much as possible. A rhombus has an in-circle, okay? So I'll put it like this, the fifth one, especially for rhombus, in radius is given by half of height, right? So height formula we have created here. So it is uh, h by 2, that is you can also say it is d1 into d2 divided by 4 times a. Right, so in radius of a rhombus is this one. So if you draw a circle inside the rhombus touching all four sides, this will be the radius. Okay.